G'day YouTube, welcome back to Bonsai Works, my YouTube channel. I'm David, and today um, you would have seen this tree if you've been following my channel for a while. Um, it's a spruce, um, it's a large spruce, three trunk spruce that I previously straightened the trunk on that far big fat trunk in the hope to style it one day. And um, I guess I've got the bug because I, um, I did style another spruce of mine, a very tall one. And it was really enjoyable styling that, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this guy, give this guy a go. So this one might take me a good few days, uh, probably multiple videos. I'm not sure how many I will do on this, but it'll be um, quite a long process because we really have to do a full, pretty much full styling, full change, full everything. So it's going to be a bit of work, um, but I'm looking forward to it. I find that now that I've worked with spruces a bit more, um, really starting to enjoy them and the way they respond to training, so being positive. <clears throat> now with this tree, I did straighten up that trunk a while ago, or in a previous video you were seeing, um, and now I want to actually keep going and, and at least do initial styling of this tree. So what I did first is, I actually sketched what I had in mind for the tree. Um, now, I'm terrible drawer, so I'm not gonna share that sketch with you, but in my head it just gave me an idea of what I wanna do with that tree and how I want to go about it. So sometimes it's a good idea to sketch it if you're, I know it's in your head, but also sketch it out, see what you can come up with and what kind of ideas you want to come up with. Um, ultimately what I want to do with this tree is, I'm trying to think of mountainous, mountainous trees or mountain growing high in the alpine regions, you know, spruces, I hope that's where they grow, I think they are, I think they do, um, but um, in those colder climates, so their branching, branching's all coming down, wide down you know really coming down downwards downwards not not big fluffy but nice and down and and building almost like a triangular shape so with that in mind i am um, that's why my plan is for this for this one but i want to use the three trees and combine them so i want to start with the biggest tree first being the main tree and work my way down and i want to have almost like a like a little tri triangular kind of tree there it's been the movement is all in this direction and, and it flows onto this tree so um, hard to explain right now but everything's going to move in this direction shorter branches on this side longer branches on this side trying to give that element of you know the wind blowing over time blowing those trees um, across this way so that's the idea think of multiple you know three trees i don't want to have too much foliage that's probably the hardest bit on this is I don't want to have too much foliage and there's a lot of foliage on these trees. So it's going to be interesting to see what, what we're going to do. Um, there's also some ugly parts, like this part here is very straight. Um, it's how I, do, how I hide that maybe, or, or do something with it, just to try to hide or break up that element. I mean, there's a lot of branching that has to probably go. This, this middle tree, it's too far this way, so I've got to move it over this side. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun to get like I can, you know, it's very flexible. So you see that, it's quite easy. You can bend that across, but what am I gonna do? How am I gonna anchor that? So I've got to think about planning out my work and where, what I'm gonna do. Most likely this, this, this one and this main tree have to be bent this way somehow. The position of that is pretty good. The main tree is pretty good. I like it, I like it almost as a main focal point. And, and it just shows you that, that element growing there. I thought I would tip the tree a bit more this way, but we'll see how that happens. See what we feel, what we feel in the future, uh, or how this tree develops. But what I'm thinking of doing is putting a large. You know how there's a metal bar in here for the for the guy wires. I want to put a bar in in through this way, underneath maybe try underneath the roots, and anchored that way so that I can put I can pull wires here, tie the tree, and pull the tree down to this wire here. That's the only option I've got at the moment to try and anchor those. Or maybe I can put one behind here and anchor it down. So there's, there's ways of I want to anchor these two trees, pulling them down with a guy wire into 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 one of these poles, in one of these metal bars. Sorry. So yeah, we're going to look at that. Um, that's one thing I want to look at. Um, yeah. So be, be, be cool. So a couple of things. Probably want to start to eliminate branches that I don't need. Um, I've got the image in my head where I want shorter, short um, foliage. It means that I need to twist twist a lot of things up and really contort them and try and get them really twisted around to make small pads you know like for example this guy it's not going to do much 
unfortunately. Even if I wired it, if I put him there, it looked terrible. Like it doesn't suit the tree. So you know that that's going to be gone. Um, you know, there's nothing I can do with that branch. It's bare all the way. It's only got foliage on the tips. You know, so it's not really much of a, no, not really. I was thinking, what can I do with it? Can I really contort it and, and bring it in so, so close? It could, but it looked terrible. But then what I could do is bring some of these guys behind here and create those. So that's the thinking, that's the thought process. Um, and I'll tell you, maybe I'll go through that in a minute with you guys and why I, why I, do, why I decided to do that. So, all right, let's get into it. All right, and then I'm back. I just want to show you, I'll put a little, just, just hammered a nice, a, a bit, a bit of a metal pole into there, just a metal stake into there. We'll see how that holds. I don't need too much um, pressure, but it should be just served just enough. So I just sit there for now. Might tie a couple of the couple of the trees down just to see what it looks like. Um, just some temporary ones, just to, sh to open this up and give me some give me some space to work with. So pretty easy. Just so we'll do that. We'll get some ties up and tie these up, and then just to get them out of the way so that I can work on this tree because it looks very confusing. So sometimes it's a good idea to move move things around. So let's just um let's get some wire and just um, get that done. I might just do that and then I'll come back and show you. Alright guys, so I've just temporarily um, guy wired the two trunks onto this onto this bar so you can just make out the wire on these. Um, it's just temporary as I said, just to keep them out of the way. But now you can see the movement. See how this tree is now more this way. It's too big of a tree to put under have a good background, but then this tree now, the apex is here, remember it was all the way over here. So it just pushes the tree out. But now you can probably see when I'm the lines I'm trying to get to. So you see how they've slowly moving in that direction? That's what I want to try and get more of and, um, and expose more. So, yeah, first step, let's just, I just wire them out of the way and then we'll um, look at the, the, the developing the tree over time with this. So, alrighty. Alright, I did want to explain to you one thing around um, this tree. So, there's this huge branch here. You see, if I extend it out, you can't even, I can't even be in the picture. It's that long. So, it's a good, it's way way too long but if I use these back branches and pull them around and make a smaller pad here that should solve that purpose so what I what I always hear in, in videos from overseas from some bonsai experts um, Bjorn and Ryan is that it doesn't matter where the branch starts it's where it finishes and I've got to keep that in mind every sometimes it's where it finishes and where you want to place it and as long as it looks good it needs to look good so by using these smaller ones at the back, I can mimic and put them in here, around here, creating a nice little pad of, of foliage, and that's that's the thinking right now. That's what I'm. That's why I can eliminate this branch, um, and we're not going to have a very long gin. It's just too long. Um, it will look ridiculous. I want nice short gins. This doesn't need a long one, so let's let's take off that much. So let's that go on. And let's let's just see how much this how much of this we're going to keep eventually. Probably still too long. Probably probably about that much. You're going to keep. So sometimes I like to give a rough um, rough um, gin work. Usually I don't like to um, make it too smooth. Like if we ring bark around here, then it looks. I like to sometimes leave some bark on the on the gins, especially on the the conifers. It might look a little bit better. Um, it looks a bit more natural, like it hasn't lost all its bark. Um, so you can just do that. I just do my branch, use my branch cutters to maneuver those things around. Just leave some bark down here. Don't don't take it all off. It looks looks a bit more natural. And peel. Just get rid of the smoothness. But that's nice little features there. Um, maybe one day we can join that up with the sh with the shari. There's another one here. I forgot about. So it's already starting to look with that gone interesting so that's the first big decision taking off that branch we wire these branches around and create something it will need to be shortened so you can see it's going to be shortened now this is there's this branch here that's quite yeah, ugly and sickly so he's already going to be gone and he's a small one so he'll just be a small chip Sometimes just peel off with that. You can use your gin pliers if you've got them. The little ones like this, as I said, I don't want to really gin it. I don't want to take all the bark off some of these. The big hard decisions are probably going to be 
towards the top of the tree. Now, this tree, there's, there's this big, um, big um, straight pout here, and then the whole top goes back, goes back quite a bit. I'm trying to spin it, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Maybe, maybe you can see, see how it all goes all the way back, see how it goes backwards. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do to bring that forwards. Maybe heavy wire. Do we keep it? Do we not? Do we use this as a, as a new top? Or do we bring this down? At the moment, I'm tempted to bring this down and creating creating a little pad in here. Try and block some of this trunk with some of these branches. Um, and that's that's the thinking. So I want to start on this tree, this part of this trunk first. And um, I don't want you guys to miss too much, but if I do this whole video, this is hours and hours of work. This is like an insane amount of work to get this tree finished in the, in, the, in the state. So I might do a part one where we just work on this main tree and then I'll do a part two where we work on the middle tree and part three we'll finish the tree off. How's that sound? I think I just came up with it. <laughs> so I think that might work because it'll be way too much work. Um, and I want to show you the process of how we, how, we, how we work on these trees and how we get them to a point. So making some decisions. We've got some decisions already, cut off some branches. I'm thinking we're going to use this to bring it down. There's this branch here which isn't the best and it's giving me three big branches in there. What do we do at the top? I need to bring that right across. So how am I going to do that? Um, heavy wire, guy wires, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We've got to, got to bring this over and um, into that direction. Or do we cut it off? Um, lots of decisions. But at the moment my plan is to bring this guy around, fill in this gap in here. I've got to get some heavy wire regardless, I think. Wire it up and then we'll see what the result looks like. Okay. Alrighty guys, we'll be back soon. Alright guys, so it doesn't look like I've made that much progress, but I have quite done quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of branches that have been removed as well. You can't really make out too much what's happened, but um, this branch here has been wired. <laughs> I have wired a back branch that's on top of this main top top bit, and that's going to be a really important branch to bring around, but I wired this nice branch. I haven't done the sub wiring, I've just done the initial wiring. Um, you can see how it fits in there nicely. So now it's a matter of, I just want to cut in now, just to show you. So this is this branch here that, that has a three pronged, three fork branching. Now I did try and wire this branch and try and position it in place, see if it would work. It didn't work because I've got this big heavy branch at the back that I've been able to um, compact. And then I'm gonna use this branch that it, it's a sub branch of the other one to fill in this gap in here, which is what I was after. So. By doing that, I don't need this, so I'm going to cut it off. Oh, <laughs> cut the wrong one. No, cut the branch off. And there's another little gene I'll put up in here. You know, so there's, um, just want to show you that. Now, the other thing is, I'm going to actually have to try and bend this quite, quite heavily down. Now, I've got a big heavy gauge wire, but that's not to bend it. I'm going to use a guy wire to bend this down. Um, and I've got, I'm going to probably tie it to the, so the metal bar that I've got down there. Um, so yeah, I, am, I will try and contort it a little bit. Maybe I can do it to here or to this. We'll see how we go. It might work, but it's slowly coming together. There isn't a huge amount of branching left. Now, I should try and hide all this. So you can see there's not a huge amount of branching left, which is what I wanted. So now I'm gonna actually just put the main branches in position and then I'll do the sub, and I'll show you the main branches, then I'll show you the sub wiring. Might put a, might put a sheet over that to try and hide that for now just so it doesn't distract you. So the next next video I'll do, hopefully I can hide that section, okay? I'll be back soon. All right guys, I thought I'd stop my work there and just show you where I'm up to. I've actually covered this section now. Now you can actually see how the tree's starting to form. And I'm actually quite pleased with the results. It's starting to get there, I haven't finished totally, but um, you can see all the work that's been done. Now I've done some fine wiring around here, placed some branches, you know, there's some branches that are cutting across the trunk, which is good. There's another branch. I can try and show you this way. I'm not going to be able to spin it too much, but we'll see. No, I can't spin it too much, but this back branch in here has been wired. There's a pad that's been fit out here, and then I've got that one that's coming forward and blocking that trunk. Now, you know, I have removed branches. You saw me remove the branches, but they were necessary to then be able to find and take branches and move them into place. And that's what we're trying to do here now. So, what we've done, um, that's the, one of the lessons I hope you guys pick up on is, it doesn't matter where the branch starts, it's where it finishes. Probably that's one of the key takeaways today, I mean, in this, in this part of the tree. Um, now, once we form, this is the base, you know, the basis of the tree, 
you know, we can build the other the rest. So that was one of the things I want to come back to and tell you is, remember, you know, it doesn't matter where the branch starts, where it finishes. I do have some fine wiring I need to drop here and I haven't touched, you see, this is the actual apex. So I've got to figure out how to bring that in and create, create something. Unfortunately, these two look like really nice, really nice branches here and here, but there's nothing, nothing in the actual, there's actually nothing here to form a top. You know, I need something to form a top here. And I'm going to use this to try and contort it and move it into position. Everything else looks pretty good. I've got some fine wiring I have to do in and around here. We've got some nice young branches that are just going to grow on and become better. So I just want to do some fine wiring left. Um, I've, I've created all these pads. You can now see how the pads came out. Um, I would have liked a bit more something in here maybe, but there's nothing really to use. So I might use this trunk and have a branch in there. Well, that's probably a good thing that there's nothing in there so you can see this trunk later. So coming along really well. I just want to show you what it looks like. Much, much less foliage, you can see what I mean. And now starting to give you the image of what we're trying to get to, okay? I'll be back with the finished product. All right guys, so that's what the initial styling looks like on this tree. Um, I hope you can actually make out a lot of the, how the branches have been pulled down and the pads have been sitting up like this. Most of that has happened throughout the whole tree. Everything's been pulled down and the foliage has just been brought up. Pull down, foliage up, pull down, foliage up. That's what the intention I was trying to implement here. And actually, as a single tree, it's actually looking quite good. I really like it. It's beautiful as a single tree. A um, Couple of little areas that I just need to work on. I've got a branch that's, I'm just putting my hand on it. It's like on the inside. And it's a very weakish branch, but it fills in this gap in here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that or not. Um, I mean, it depends on how this, whoa, hang on. It's just been non-stop windy the last few days in Melbourne. It's been really annoying. Um, the camera almost went over. But I'm um, just going to see how they, this plays into the rest of the, the rest of the tree and um, how we're going to look with, with the secondary trunk here. Um, so then the same kind of image that tree is, looks like is how the next, how I want the next um, tree to look. It flows the same way. Same, see how that nice elegant movement in this direction? And you see how the trunk going this way? These branches aren't too long, they're just quite short and hugging hugging the trunk almost. I want to bring them a little bit in in the future and we'll, and we'll work on that, getting them in a bit more. Um, just by when it butts back a bit, get it in. Sorry, the wind's just got picked up again. Um, so just bringing them in a bit more, bring them in a bit more. So that hug that trunk, whereas here we've got the space, the kind of kind of the direction and space that it's going this way. So all in all, I really like it how it's come up. The apex was very long, and now it's really contorted into this small piece. All it was was I've just kind of done a nice little snaky, twisted it and compacted it into here. That's it's all I can do right now. And um, so I've contorted it. Then I made a branch in here made a branch here so it's got a couple of branches here here and then there's a little apex so it's actually actually making quite a bit of um uh, uh, uh twisted up now i'll bring in and show you i'll bring in and show you close-ups of the tree now i kind of just want to show you the apex so so the tree the branch starts there goes around and around and around that was that really long bit so that becomes a sub branch here then i've got another one another branch that goes this way got some few smaller ones here in there and then there's a lot one smaller branch it makes up this little apex up here so that's how i twisted it around and moved it around this is the branch in here that i'm just contemplating whether we need it or not see how it's a bit weak but i want to put something in there to hold that gap maybe maybe we'll, maybe we'll twist it around it's a bit hard with the tree there and, and 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 the wire i mean this this whole thing there it's a bit hard to do but you can see how they're all being wired around see how they're being wired around twisted around yeah Anyway, just wanted to show you a bit more of a close-up. A lot of these branches I've just left. You can see the small ones just, just to fill out. They'll, they'll eventually reduce and get smaller and smaller and more compact. But that's enough for now. And um, I'll sign off now. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed part one of this, of this um, tree and how it's going. I think it's looking quite nice as a start anyway. Yeah, I've just noticed there's a bit of a gap in here, but there's not much we can do. Probably, probably you want to lower this one into this gap here. See how that? You just start slowly tweak things. Oops, slowly tweak things, bring that into there, into that gap. So, but there's nice space and nice movement. All right, guys, I'll see you for part two. Have a good day and enjoy this video and the rest that will come. See you next time.